I'm Scott Magnuson. I'm a head and neck surgeon at Florida Hospital in Orlando, Florida, and director of head and neck surgery and robotic head and neck surgery at the Florida Hospital Nicholson Center. The motivation to write this book came from a discussion between me and the other two authors, Dr. Ron Cooper-Smith and Eric Jenden. Um, we were looking at the robotic literature uh, that is currently available for, for uh, surgeons to use, and we thought that there was an, a void for something that was a comprehensive type of textbook that could help the surgeons in, in all different areas. The, the other textbooks were, were very um, focused in their content, and we thought we could come up with a more comprehensive guide. Ron, Eric, and I had a lot of fun putting this book together. Um, we sat down first and we identified what topics we wanted to cover, and and then we we really went through an exhaustive list of the of the surgeons who we thought would do best for each of these chapters. Um, the topics that we wanted to cover weren't just surgical in nature. We also like to include some of the ethical uh, components of robotic surgery itself, and, and Dr. Coopersmith was the one who handled that, that uh, chapter. And the other components that we thought would be nice are, where, where's the future of robotic surgery going? And, a, and an expert in the field in robotics uh, is a, Dr. Roger Smith in Orlando, Florida, and he wrote that chapter. What I like best about this book is the comprehensive nature of the book. It covers uh, topics from the ethical components of robotic surgery to the surgical aspects of the different areas within the upper aerodigestive tract, the neck and the thyroid, and then also the future of where robotic surgery is going. The reader of this book is going to find that it's a very practical one. We call it the essential guide because truly they can go to each section, say, look at complications of robotic surgery and learn a lot from that section to avoid complications in their own practice or learn how to manage complications in their own practice. They can also go to the section on thyroid surgery or neck dissection and get an idea of what's involved in those components. The audience for this book is intended for those surgeons who are practicing robotic surgery but also those surgeons who have an interest in robotic surgery. If they're considering beginning a program of their own, there, is a, there are a lot of uh, points of this book that can help them build that program. The surgeon is gonna be able to rely on this book as a guide to their own practice. So whether the surgeon does robotic surgery of the tonsil or the tongue base, whether they do, whether they do surgery for cancer or for sleep apnea, or whether they're planning on doing robotic surgery for the neck or for the thyroid. It's gonna be a useful tool for them in their practice.